Hello engineers, welcome again on another exciting video regarding CSTR reactors that are the continuous stirrer tank reactors. In the end of this tutorial, uh, you will have the basic understanding of CSTR reactors and we will derive mole balance equation for CSTR reactors and in the end of this uh, tutorial we will simulate a CSTR reactor in DWSIM software to find out the volume of a reactor for a given conversion and also we will compare uh, this volume uh, to the volume of a plug flow reactor for the same uh, for the same problem that we have solved in the previous tutorial okay so first of all let's have some basic information regarding CSTR uh, CSTR are actually the well mixed or perfectly mixed uh, reactors and these are usually used for homogeneous liquid phase reactions and also uh, they are also used for gas liquid phase reaction in which gas uh, reacts with the liquids in the presence of some catalyst as i already said that uh, these are well mixed uh, reactors so inside the reactor the properties like temperature and density are constant throughout the reactor okay so another uh, thing that is different from plug flow reactor here the concentration of the reactor concentration inside the reactant uh, sorry concentration inside the reactor is equal to the concentration of the outlet stream so this is uh, uh, different compared to the plug flow reactor so another if we talk about merits and demerits of uh, CSTR so the good thing about CSTR because the temperature is homogeneously distributed or we can say the constant temperature inside the reactor so the temperature control is good in CSTR but this kind of reactor usually gives low conversion because the residence time distribution is uh, very wide for the case of CSTR uh, another thing in in mixing so if the mixing is not perfectly going inside the reactor so the possibility of the dead zones uh, uh, inside the reactor uh, is quite high another thing if the outlet stream position is not properly defined then the reactant can simply bypass and uh, the reaction will not occur okay so these are the basic information regarding CSTR uh, if you see on the right hand side of this uh, slide there are two graphs these graphs are called Levin spell uh, plots and uh, the first one actually this one is uh, the graph for uh, continuous stirrer tank reactor and the area of this rectangle is equal to the volume of CSTR and this this expression is derived in the form of a uh, conversion of a uh, uh, the base reactant okay so the Levin spell plots are usually uh, plotted uh, in the, between the molar flow rate of uh, a component or the reactant A to the rate of reaction of the component A on the y-axis and the x-axis is the uh, conversion. So as increasing the uh, with increase in the conversion the the this this factor is increased exponentially and you will see that in the end of this tutorial that how the uh, volume of a reactor uh, volume of a CSTR reactor vary compared to the volume of a plug flow reactor for the same conditions okay so at higher uh, conversion rates like 90% 95% the area of a CSTR re reactor would be more than 
double or maybe three times or four times because this is the exponential function and it's not the linear linear curve okay so we will compare the volume of two reactor uh, two reactors for the same problem so let's move to the problem statement that we are going to solve today oh uh, sorry before that just we will drive the mole balance equation that we already derived for plug flow reactor the general equation is the same the input minus output plus generation that is equal to the accumulation so uh, if we consider that a is the reactant so fa not is the molar flow rate that is coming into the reactor and fa is the molar flow rate of the uh, reactant coming out of the reactant and the generation term is equal to the rate of reaction uh, multiplied by the integral of the volume and the accumulation term is total number of change in mole of a species a with respect to time so if we consider that this uh, system is operating at the steady state then there would not be any accumulation and this term will equal to zero and the final expression would be like this but again so uh, how we can further define this term in case of uh, cstr as i already said that cst cstr actually the perfectly mixed reactant so uh, we can take that this in this uh, term is equal to rate of reaction into the total volume because if you remember in previous lecture rate of reaction is not constant inside uh, along the length of the plug flow reactor that we already discussed in previous lecture you can go and check the uh, previous tutorial but here uh, rate of reaction is constant throughout the reactor because it's perfectly mixed so we can take uh this term instead of integral we are just taking the total volume of a reactor okay so now this introduce this term into this equation and we will have our final equation in this form and finally the volume of a cstr reactor is actually a, a algebraic equation okay instead of the integral uh, uh, in, in, in integral equation like in the plug flow reactor okay so this is the uh, very basic uh, information and it should be known to solve the problem so let's move to the problem statement the problem statement we are going to solve is the same exactly we did in previous uh, tutorial for plug flow reactor so the reaction is the isomerization reaction in which c uh, cis 2 butene is converting into the trans 2 butene and it's a homogeneous irreversible reaction and the first order reaction kinetics and the reaction constant is given here and i am just writing the volume of plug flow reactor that we have achieved for this uh, uh, problem i am writing here for a comparison okay so we have to calculate the vo reactor volume which is required to achieve 90 percent reaction conversion and we are assuming that this reaction is happening inside the isothermal CSTR reactor. Okay. And the feed stream is a pure cis butene with the flow rate of 100 k mol per hour at 12 bar pressure and 25 degree C temperature. So we have to compare this volume that we will have for CSTR with the plug flow reactor. Okay. So let's move to the DW scene. Okay. So just start a new steady state simulation. Okay define component the first one is cis2 butene and the second one is trans2 butene okay go next and select nrtl as a property package then go next and select system of unit and i am taking c5 as a system of unit then press finish okay after that uh, uh, we have to define the reaction for that just press this setting button and from here go to the reactions and from reaction go to chemical reaction and 
click on this add button and select kinetics so from kinetics uh, uh, include both components and the base component is the cis 2 butene and stoichiometric coefficient for reactant is minus one for product is plus one and the reaction is irreversible first order reaction so i am just taking uh, direct order or the forward uh, order is one and leaving the rest of like zero after that just come here in kinetic reaction parameters and change fugosity to the molar concentration and change the temperature range until 3000 and the last thing the direct reaction velocity constant that is the forward rate constant that is given in the problem 0 0.003833 uh, let's just confirm 003833 okay so now we have to define the velocity unit and this, they, uh, these are k mole per cubic meter per second. After defining uh, the reaction condition, just press OK. Now the reaction set is completely defined. Now it's time to start the, uh, to, to develop the flow sheet. Just select a material stream. Okay. And click on it. Change the stream name like feed and change the condition. So go input data, stream condition and flash spec should be temperature pressure. In uh, the inlet temperature is 25. The pressure is 12 bar. So just write 12 bar and the molar flow rate uh, of the inlet stream is 100 K mol. Just press 100 and then go to the compound amounts. And here uh, cis butene is actually it's a pure uh, stream so it is only one and the rest of the things that is trans butene is zero and then accept changes now the feed stream is fully specified the next step is just go to the reactors and select uh, continuous steerer tank reactor and drag it here click on it and in the feed stream uh, sorry in the inlet stream just click on feed uh, so before moving forward i'm just uh, pausing the solver and then uh, the outlet stream just create an outlet stream and an energy stream okay so <clears throat> the calculation calculation parameter in which we because the uh, reactor is operating as isothermal mode so just change it to the isothermal so everything is defined okay now it's time to run the simulation just press f5 okay so now the simulation is converged just go to the results and go to conversion and check conversion so here you can see uh, cis butene on uh, is it's uh, been converted the conversion is uh, are around 60 percent for a reactor volume one cubic meter okay but we need this conversion should be 90 and for 90 we have to find the reactor volume so for that just go to the logical operations and select control block okay that is actually the adjust function click on the adjust function uh click on the manipulated object that is the cstr and manipulated property is the uh volume of the reactor and the control object is again cstr and the control property is uh cis butene conversion okay so we want that this conversion at 90 percent okay so click on it and then click on these parameters convert solver solver with the flow sheet solver okay click on it and uh, pass the flow sheet again click on uh, uh, cstr reactor and now you can see here we have a conversion 59 percent reactor volume one cubic meter okay again just press f5 to solve this uh, uh, flow sheet and it is being calculated in fuse second or maybe in few minutes we will have results well the simulation is converged and you can 
click on it reactor and go to the results you can see that cis-tubutene the conversion is 90 percent and the reactor volume is 6.074 cubic meter okay and for the same amount of conversion of cis-tubutene on all the conditions were the same in case of plug flow reactor and for plug flow reactor the volume of the reactor was 1.54 so as I already discussed that at higher conversion rate, uh, the, the volume is exponentially changing. Okay, so that's why here the volume of a, a CSTR reactor is almost three times compared to the volume of plug flow reactor. Okay, so this is the today's uh, discussion and uh, lesson I hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you like uh, these content uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and share it with your other friends okay so uh, until next video take care uh, bye bye